hello everyone so today i'm gonna show you how to avoid spawning grass in places like this in the smart grass system that we have implemented so here as you can see there is a rock mesh and uh, this uh, grass generation system is not spawning grass blades is not creating or generating grass blades in the place where we have this rock so if you are not sure what i'm talking about we worked on this system i used to call it high performance grass system but this is now i'm thinking of changing the topic to smart grass generation system because it's not necessarily about the performance anymore it's just about having some additional features where we can generate grass in an intelligent way i am referencing to the techniques utilized in ghost of tsushima so here one another feature that we have is as you can see when in this brown part where it looks like a dirt road so you can see uh, as the fertile area blend into the brown area less fertile area grass becomes shorten and becomes more yellowish to reflect the fertility level of the ground so yeah so now if i move this and if i want to update grass all i have to do is here clear grass and generate grass tiles again then you will see grass is generated accordingly to match the new situation here let me move this yeah like this okay and of course then after that you can generate all the tiles and convert this into a static mesh and you can use that in the level so yeah let's see how to do this part today and before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done from the patreon page once you become a member you can access anything without any limit so feel free to check it out i'll leave the link to the patreon page in the description below and the project files and also i'll leave a link to this full playlist as well all right so let's get back to today's tutorial okay so let me create uh, let me just clear this generated part so and let's put a rock and let's make it a bit bigger to demonstrate what happens so if i generate the grass right now here you see so the grass actually the grass system actually uh, doesn't know this is a rock so it even spawns on the rock surface itself so the, we want to prevent that and other than that you can see this fertility fade survey as the fertility fade survey you can see the grasses becomes smaller and yellowish so other things are working correctly okay so how do we do this how do we prevent grass spawning on this mesh so here let's go to our clm grass system blueprint so here generate grass tiles um, this is the function we need to look generate next tile so inside here we have again we call this generate grass tile function well actually this is the function that i should look into first so here we have a part where we do a line trace to determine what's underneath so then uh, there we check the layer so here we only consider the location and the, we doesn't we don't consider if there is anything on top of the landscape we just get the location and in that location we check the this grass layer in four uh, layers density of weight that's what we calculate here instead of doing that 
I'm gonna change this part a little bit here let's give a reference to this hit actor into this check layer part and then uh, I'll get rid of this external variable that I have set the landscape installed I'll check if this is a landscape using is a function and we can check if this is a landscape by checking if the object class is landscape and if this is true here yeah, let me skip this part if this is true I'm gonna use this actor as the target for this get component by class and get the land get landscape component and get the grass layer info and from that check the weight of this layer okay now actually that's all let me clear grass and generate grass tiles again now you see the system is ignoring the rock part here so now we can continue to generate the rest of the area as well and after that you can convert this to a static mesh so that everything all this generated grass will be baked into a static mesh so yeah that's actually all i wanted to do in this episode so if i move this you can see the grass is over there let me just move it to a side and then if i want to update clear grass and generate class tiles again now see again grass is generated correctly all right so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in another episode also feel free to let me know what else you guys would like to see in the system that we have worked on goodbye